Hi everybody, welcome to Bort Late Astro. I'm Ola and uh, you're watching uh, from my, uh, well, the balcony is out there. My telescope is uh, just set up, just uh, programmed the uh, zero position. And today I want to talk about how we can get uh, more efficient while doing astrophotography. So from my balcony, uh, I have a lot of uh, problem completing my imaging sessions that I run in uh, the sequence generator. Uh, so what I want to do today is uh, set up uh, my, uh, my filter wheel with uh, focus offsets. Offsets are uh, kind of uh, uh, differences in uh, where the focus point is on these uh, filters. You usually try to image with uh, luminance, red, green, and blue, or uh, HA, S2, and oxygen 3. And uh, with uh, softwares like Nina, you can uh, set up uh, filter offset, making it uh, so that you can have a rolling sequence, means it's takes one exposure of the luminance frame and then moves to the red frame and the green and the blue and then just circle around again. Uh, this saves time with uh, dithering and uh, if there are clouds coming in or you get your imaging night ruined by something else during the night, uh, you will have frames of each channel. Uh, I haven't done this uh, since I got my new telescope and I have a lot of imaging sessions where my um, sequence is uh, like halfway full. I have completed maybe the luminance and maybe the red channel and I have green and blue left. So yeah, let's just uh, see how this goes and I will uh, be right back. So in Nina, in the sequence generator, I have set my sequence mode to loop. I've set the binning to 2x2 two two and uh, the exposure times are differentiating from 5 seconds to 10 seconds depending on the filters. Uh, I've set the uh, autofocus to uh, do an autofocus on start and on filter change. Uh, when we change the sequence mode to loop, it would start with the luminance filter and once that exposure is done it will move on to the red filter uh, and that will trigger an autofocus as well. So. That's how the whole night will go through. At the end of everything, we hope to go into the Options and Autofocus tab where we can uh, set the Use Filter Offsets and we can put in the values that we get from the imaging night. In Nina, you can go into the Autofocus tab in the Imaging tab. Uh, or the imaging window and you can uh, click on the arrow uh, as you can see by the circle and then you can see how each autofocus has done during your imaging session. This is helpful if you want to just check how everything is going or like me if you want to go and note put down the numbers for the autofocus position. Once I was uh, feeling uh, good about everything, I just uh, let the sequence gener generator do its thing for the night. Uh, so I could just uh, go to bed and sleep while uh, Nina was doing the rest of the work. All right, so it's the morning after. I've just uh, made a spreadsheet uh, on my computer following um, pasting in all the numbers from the autofocus uh, routine I made in the sequence generator. I did uh, end up with uh, 10 exposures for each filter. So I have uh, 10 uh, values that I have plotted in with uh, LRGB, HA, O3, S2. You can find the log files for the autofocus routine by 
typing in the address you see on the screen. Just change your username to whatever you use. This graph you see on the screen now is uh, how the focus point is uh, changing throughout the whole night. From point 1 to point 10 there's about 4 hours of uh, exposures being done. Uh, and we can see how, uh, how the focus is uh, changing over time. You see uh, the most of the increase is uh, from frame 1 to 5. Uh, that was uh, when the when the air was getting colder and colder and it's uh, stabilized pretty much from uh, frame 5 to uh, the last frame it took. There's a small increase just in the focus point here. We can also see the similarities in uh, the focus points for each filters. Uh, this uh, diagram is uh, showing the average focus point for each filter during the 10 exposures I took. Here we can see that the HA and the sulfur filters are pretty much par focal and the luminance and the green filters are pretty close as well. Otherwise we can see that it's really necessary to do autofocus between the filters. So I map down every number uh, in the focus points for each frame during the whole night and it's uh, interesting to see how it uh, varies and how much it changes uh, during this. The average, as you can see, there's an average of uh, 253 uh, focus points between uh, all these filters. Uh, the difference in the maximum and minimum focus points are all the way up to 344 focus points, telling us that it's really necessary to do an autofocus routine during your night of imaging. So yeah, that's all. Uh, please consider leaving a subscription to my channel. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video and if you have any questions or something you want to comment, leave them in the comment sections below.